So, if you want to make a glass painting, kind of just relax, chill out. Well, I'm a decent artist, so I can kind of show you how to do a glass painting. Again, decent, not very good. Let's get to it. So first of all, you're going to need a picture frame, a paint pen, some different colored paint, different sized paint brushes, an image or a drawing, nail polish remover, cotton balls and Q-tips, cups for your paint, a cup of water, and some time and patience. For starters, your first step would be to find an image. You can either find one online or you can just draw it. I usually find mine online and print it out and trace it because that's easier for me, but you can do whatever you want. You just have to make sure that your image is flipped horizontally because if it's not, then the words on the image will be backwards and the image will just look backwards even if you don't have words. It will look very funky. I learned that the hard way, unfortunately. So your next step is going to be to start tracing your image. I usually have it with a black outline and I just do it with a black paint pen because that's a lot easier for me. But you can also use colored paint pens to trace out your image if that would, if you have a colored image without an outline. You could also use just a tiny little paintbrush and some black paint to do it as well. But as someone who, had, who has had to do small, tiny details with a tiny paintbrush and paint, it's a little, it's kind of difficult, but you know, if you like the challenge, then go for it. I'm sure someone would find that fun, but if I have to do it for hours at a time, I don't find it very fun. So after you went ahead and finished up your outline and everything, you're going to want to start with your details. Doing your details on a glass painting is the opposite of how you do it on like a canvas or something like that. You would want to start with the details first and then the background so the details can show up versus doing it on a regular painting where you have to do the background first and then the details. So if you have any mistakes with your painting, what I normally do is use nail polish remover to get it off. You can also do things like Lysol wipes or just plain water. But with Lysol wipes and water, you're gonna have to kind of scratch the outline off, which is kind of probably gonna damage the glass. I found that nail polish remover works best. I don't see any damages with the glass. You just have to wipe it off before it dries. You would normally use Q-tips and cotton balls to fix tinier, smaller mistakes, while you would also use something soft like to toilet paper or tissues to get off bigger mistakes. So here's one of my finished products. I didn't do the same paintings over and over. This is just what one of mine looks like after doing the entire background, all the outlining and all the details. And that's about it. I wish you very, very good luck on your glass paintings and I hope you have as much fun as I do. Bye-bye.